Hi everyone, Deacon Dick Winkowski from St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Parish in New Berlin, Wisconsin. It is Wednesday, June 10th, 2020. Welcome. The Gospel today is from Matthew chapter 5, verse 17 to 19. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Gospel today is only three verses long. However, it is a very powerful message. Jesus begins by telling his disciples that his purpose is not to abolish the law or to criticize what the prophets proclaimed and taught. Jesus' intent is to fulfill the law. Jesus also emphasizes that keeping the commandments is essential. But, however, in the eyes of the Pharisees, Jesus frequently disobeyed Jewish law. They often criticized him for not following the law, at least as they believed it should be obeyed. And they did have grounds for the criticism of Jesus. He did not follow the law as the Pharisees thought it should be followed. The Pharisees lived by the letter of the law. Jesus, however, lived by the different law, the law of love. Yes, the law of love. Jesus followed most of the Jewish laws and customs. However, when it came to the people in need of love, and compassion, Jesus lived by the law of God. Yes, all the commandments are important and necessary. For Jesus, the first two commandments are the foundation of all the other eight commandments. Love of God and love of neighbor. Love should come before all else. We also can begin legalistic we can also become legalistic as the Pharisees were. We may observe another person doing something that we may judge as not correct. Yet, who are we to judge? We don't know why the person is doing what he or she is doing. And the bottom line is that it is our, not our place to judge. God is the one to judge. We don't like or appreciate when another judges us. Yet at times, we fall into judging, perhaps before we even know it. The grace here is we can pull ourselves back from our judgment if we desire to. If we practice doing this often enough, we may find that we don't jump to judgment as automatically as we once did. Today, I invite you to be aware of your thoughts and especially your judgments. Pay close attention to your interactions with the people you may not like very much or someone who simply just gets on your nerves. We may be more likely to find fault with them than with someone we like or love. We will never be perfect in keeping the commandments. After all, we are human and not God. However, each day, each hour, we can strive to love others more fully and without judgment. This is all God asks of us. Sounds easy, but can we do it? Stay safe, stay well, and God bless.